Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and today I'm going to be doing some solar dyeing. We're in the height of some, the British summer now, so it's nice and warm. We're in a bit of a heat wave, so it's getting up to, well the Met Office is saying it's getting up to about 25 degrees during the day, but it certainly feels like it's hotter. Now here I have 100 grams of Blue Face Leicester yarn in Aran weight. I have pre-soaked it in just some plain tap water. And the dyes I'm going to use today are tobacco leaf from Dharma, monarch orange, also from Dharma, and red from DT Craft and Design. So I've sort of put it like this because uh, first I'm going to use some tobacco leaf and sort of put it around the bottom and then monarch orange in the middle and red at the top. That's my plan. Now, I am wearing safety equipment. I've got my mask and uh, I've got my, uh, my gloves and everything here is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for food. So I'm just plopping in an unspecified amount of tobacco leaf. There we go. I think do a little bit more. I want to that side there. There we go. That's the tobacco leaf. I think that's probably enough. I'll add a little bit more of that in, and then add monarch orange. a lot. Oh, I think that's probably, oh, <laughs> okay. I guess I'm finishing that off now and adding in the red. I'm just cleaning off my spoon just because the powder's dry, the spoon's dry. Just wiping it off on uh, just some paper towel. Sprinkle that red all over. There we go. That's probably enough. It's quite hard to tell, but yeah, let's have a little look around there. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably enough. Now, the best advice I was given uh, when, when it comes to dyeing yarn, and the best advice I can give anyone who wants to dye yarn, is if you don't like it, you can always over dye. So that's why I'm leaving it at this now. Now normally I'd add in water at this point, but I've got a, a load of ice, <laughs> lots of ice cubes. But add this in, do a combination of uh, solar dyeing and ice dyeing. See how this works. I'm just breaking all the stuff in here. I have got a bit more in the freezer, so yeah. get some more ice. Uh, I will keep an eye on this and if it looks like the ice water level isn't high enough once all the ice has melted I will add some more uh, water or ice. I still have, still have a bit more. There we go. I think that's, that's about as full as I can get it. Get the last one in there. Yeah. Because these are acid dyes I do need to add some vinegar, so I'm just adding one, two, two, two uh, three, go for three, three teaspoons of vinegar. Now, I'm going to just put it on that and put that somewhere warm. I'm going to go put that in the porch because that's, uh, it's the evening now and that is the hottest part of the house. Just let all, I'm just going to leave this for, gosh, I'm going to leave it for probably at least 48 hours uh, if in 48 hours not everything has dissolved then I may need to heat set this on the stove. Coming close, look at that tobacco leaf down at the bottom, it looks like it's breaking, it looks like a bit of green there and some brown 
not burnt and lots of yellows. Ooh, this I think is going to look fantastic. It's been a week since I set this up. It's been sitting in the in the sun all week. I've been checking on it. Almost all the dye has been absorbed. I'm going to save that. Let's put that to the side. And let's get Oh, there's lots of white in here, which is nice. Now there'll, be, there should, there'll probably be a little bit of runoff as all the dye didn't completely absorb to the yarn. Hopefully, there shouldn't be too much runoff. I'm going to add a little bit of washing up liquid help get rid of, rid of any um, dye that might not have dissolved. So I'm going to keep rinsing this through until the water runs clear. Shouldn't take too much longer. Yeah, this is almost already almost there. Yeah. Once this is rinsed I can hang it up to dry. And here is the gorgeous fiery finished dyed yarn uh, i am so so happy with how this has turned out it, it's turned out better than i could have imagined really um i absolutely love this tobacco leaf uh dye here because you've got the lovely sort of the brown that it's made that it is but um it's sort of broken and you can see it's sort of greeny brown there you've got the lovely yellow patches as well which has come from the tobacco leaf and um still got some lovely white bits in there and sort of coming up through to the the monarch orange um you can see it's uh, got some lovely sort of really dark patches of orange and sort of a burnt orange and then it's a sort of little bit lighter around the edges and uh some lovely sort of not speckles but sort of little splodges there and then coming up to the lovely red at the top which is just i think finishes it off nicely and there are sort of patches of the red and of, it, of each colour all the way through. But I think this is absolutely stunning. Um, I did do some dyeing with the leftover dye. There wasn't much uh, pigment left. This is what I, I I made. It's a very, it looks almost white in comparison to this, but it is a sort of pale orange. Uh, and this video will be out at some point. I'm not sure when, soon. It will be out soon if it's not been out already. So, I will definitely be uh, doing mixing solar dyeing and ice dyeing again because this is stunning. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday. Uh, it's normally uploaded between about 6 and 8 p.m. Uh, UK time. And in every video, I like to do something different, whether it's... Uh, different combination of dyes or a different yarn base or a different fabric type or uh, mixing dyeing methods like I did with this one. Uh, every week there will be something different. Thank you so much for watching.